Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and welcome to I Can Be Ria. In today's video, I previously talked about makeup items I am glad I did not purchase and gave you the reasons why. But we're going to do the flip around and we're going to be talking about makeup products that I regret not buying. And there were a few reasons for not purchasing them. And these are all on my wish list for sure. But there are those one or two elements in each of these palettes that really had me held back and still do. And I'm going to share this with you guys. Definitely let me know any palettes that you have on your wish list that's just like... There's just something about it that is not making you buy. Because I know if I love a palette, I will literally wake up on the Tasha Denona Love Glow palette at like 3 in the morning to order it. I don't know why, that was like insane. I also would love it if you guys would give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you love everything makeup and beauty. And without further ado and further blabbing, let us hop right into this video. The first makeup palette. You guys probably know and have heard me go on multiple tangents on on this channel is the Colourpop and Becky G collaboration. You guys are probably rolling your eyes at this right now. It is the Ola Chola palette. I don't know why, it was just so reminiscent of the Sultry palette, but like with the 90s vibes, it also had this really nice warm brown olivey undertones that I just mm, that is just like candy to my soul. It just makes me so happy even looking at it. But my idiot ass was like, oh, Becky G collaborations are always up. Like Kathleen likes the collaborations. They do always get restocked. It's all good. It's sold out. It didn't come back. It's still not back and it's not gonna come back, which is like the most tragic thing I've heard because I just can think of like, so many different eyeshadow looks and it's all matte which I live for so I can wear it every day I swear if I got it it would have been my everyday palette but I missed out on it and ever since then I've just been trying to fight a dupe and I just haven't been able to oh boy my heart breaks and that is one of the palettes that I'm just like if I see a palette that I love okay I am not going to wait for me not to be categorized as impulse buying as you know Colourpop does come out with swatches and you know a launch date and everything so you do have time to think about it before actually purchasing it which I love but if there is a freaking miracle I'm sorry about my nail by the way if there is a freaking miracle and it comes back your girl will be over the moon okay the next palette I want to talk about is the Violet Voss Flamingo palette I think that's what it's called the colours in here are so beautiful and so gorgeous, but being someone who loves to create content and I think this was a limited edition, I couldn't find it anywhere when I looked or maybe I was just really terrible at looking, I don't know, I couldn't find it anywhere and I just, I love pastels and I just felt like they were such unique shades as well so like you had a pastel but you also had a corresponding like shimmer to go along with it which just again music to my ears feeds my soul everything good but for the price and the ability to grab a hold of it things that are online or in other retailers from like third-party retailers like Beautylish, Cult Beauty, Bay. They all price their items way more than they are originally and you have to pay for shipping, which is insane. So it's definitely more expensive. Knowing that pastel colors can be quite patchy and, you know, previously trying pastel shades that have been patchy as hell, I kind of was hesitant to purchase the palette at the time. And now doing YouTube and stuff, I think that if I purchased it now, it would just be too old to talk about. And honestly... I personally wouldn't watch a video on it because for me it's like too old. So if I wouldn't watch a video like that, why would I make a video like that? That's how I like like think when I want to create a video, you know? It's like what content would I want to see? So the next palette I wanted to get was the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm palette. I was so excited when I saw this come out, but upon reviews, especially Babs Beauty, I find her reviews and first impressions 
amazingly helpful when it comes to me deciding what to purchase and what to not purchase. And she did say some of the shades that I was most intrigued in was kind of like sheer, especially the shimmers, which I was like, I mean, I understand it's a topper, but for me, when I hear like mixed reviews about something, I definitely want to see it and play with it in person and then make up my mind. I couldn't do that with this palette because we don't have Dominique Cosmetics here. It's only in Sephora's in the US, unfortunately. Breaks my heart, truly. That's what I find with most e-commerce brands is that I just tend to hold back a little bit, except for Colourpop because their formulas are chef's kiss is beautiful. Um, yeah, I just like, I'm so iffy. And speaking of e-commerce brands, the same thing applied to the Manny MUA, I think it was the Christmas holiday palette. It, it was a Spellbook palette, I think, something like that. I will leave it the right name over here. I'm sure I'm butchering it. Again, that's another palette that I wanted to get. You guys know I'm into purchasing unique products and adding it to my collection. And that was just super unique to me. Because it was a brand I'd never even heard many reviews in apart from Nicole Concilio's. I couldn't just see one review and just make up my mind. Especially with influencer brands. I'm very iffy about who to support. But again, Dominique Cosmetics, love her formula. Um, Manny Amiri because he was problematic, I don't know. I don't get into the drama, but I'm just like, if they're more problematic in the beauty sphere, I'm just like, twice as hes hesitant, especially, let's not get into Jacqueline Hill, okay? I can create a whole video on her. The next makeup palette I am so sad I did not end up getting is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. That was back when Urban Decay was thriving and the formula was like perfect after the electric palette. Their formula was still good. Now, I don't know what the hell happened. The Born to Run, disappointing. Naked palettes, disappointing. Just everything. The wide palette, a joke. Honestly, unless I see the formula change again, I don't know what Urban Decay is doing. But back then, Oh boy, alongside the Electric palette and the Alice in Wonderland limited edition palettes, I regret not buying this because this was so up my alley in terms of like having just the, again, a full spectrum of color, full spectrum, and honestly, I would be like set on like colorful eyeshadows, you know what I mean? I didn't purchase it back then because I was a youngins and I did not have enough savings so I couldn't purchase it then and now it's gone. And let's move on to the next eyeshadow palette and then we'll move on to two face palettes that I have. So the next eyeshadow palette I want to talk about is the Too Faced Hot Bud Cream palette. I was able to get a hold of it but I just like I didn't. I don't know why it just looked so cute. And it smelled so good and it's just sometimes you just fall into the gimmicky things and speaking of which the clover palette that they came out which donated to, that was another palette that I regret not buying it's limited edition I know those are the palettes sometimes that just speak to my soul you know what I mean so that's the tragedy of it all I hope they come out with it I know again this year because I feel like for a holiday palette that was perfect. It was perfectly sized. The warm tones didn't seem so warm to where it was obnoxious. It was just that nice kind of everyday palette I could wear to work and it had the pleasure of smelling like hot buttered rum, you know? So I regret not purchasing it and can't purchase it anymore. For the two face palettes I want to talk about the Hourglass 2018 Highlight and Cheek Holiday Palette. I did get the ghost one this year, but it just did not have the blushes that it did back then. Like, those shades looked amazing. And that applies to the 2018, I think 2017 NARS face palette as well. Because I don't purchase a lot of makeup, but when I do, I think about it for a long time. And by the time I think about it, it either is discontinued. It's no longer talked about on YouTube or, or I don't know, I didn't have enough savings at the time. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm the worst when it comes to make, purchasing me. Oh, it's, that's not even freaking available in Australia. So, there's that. And then Tasha Denona Blue Blush and Glow Palette. I love the freaking Love Glow Palette so much that I want to get the 
Bloom Blush and Glow palette, palette, but now I can't even talk about it on YouTube and against a relevancy kind of thing. But I know if I do have enough spare savings in my account, which let's hope for a miracle, knowing my spending habits and how I use body makeup as retail therapy, very bad coping mechanism. But hey, I only wish it was covered by health insurance. Last but not least, you guys know the Tati palette. I freaking love it. I love the formula and everything, but it's just the colors I know are wear, but again, it's just big palettes that I'm just like, I'm not gonna take it with me. You know what I mean? Like, I will take my ColourPop 9 and eyeshadows without a thought in my head, but carrying that big palette, I know the formulas are different. I don't know. It's a lot with shipping and everything. Again, out of all the things that I'm sharing with you guys, the last two that I've mentioned are definitely the ones that are there on my wish list, but I regret not buying it sooner I'm talking about it. I'm so glad I shared this with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was somewhat entertaining to you guys and helped you guys think about products you regretted not buying, you know, and that gave you a serious FOMO. I love you guys with all my heart. Definitely always feel free to leave video suggestions in the comments down below. And I will catch you, my beautiful best friends, in the next video. Bye!